expansion versus expansion team uh a series that we've all been waiting for the seattle kraken are going up against the vegas golden knights as the seattle kraken are trying to make their way for a back to back can we do it in year number three who knows and welcome everyone to episode 15 of your seattle kraken franchise mode here on nhl 21 as in today's episode like i said we got to go up against the vegas gold knights in a round one as uh, we continue our journey to get back into the stanley cup finals hopefully and maybe bring the cup back to seattle once again now before we kind of get deep into the episode where we talk about the injuries and the new lineups for the Seattle Kraken entering uh, game one against Vegas, um, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button as well. They'll be very much appreciated. Not just that, if uh, you are like Twitch streams or just anything live, I do a ton of uh, Twitch streams on Twitch. I play a lot of NHL. Uh, some Call of Duty as well. Just come and vibe with me. It's a lot of fun. The link will be down in the description as well. So let's get right into that. Instead of me advertising myself, let's get into what's going on here with the Seattle Kraken. So injuries. We're missing Johnny Goudreau for the first couple games of this uh, of the uh, the series against the uh, Vegas Golden Knights. He will be out until the fifteenth, so he'll be missing about two games because we don't want to play him with a concussion. That's not something I want to do. So Johnny Goudreau will be out of lineup for the next two games, which will be. A pretty big bummer for the Seattle Kraken. Not something that we want to see. Uh, Dennis Gurionov's out with a broken leg. We won't be having him. And uh, same with Strom. I think he pulled his groin. So I don't think we're going to be getting Johnny or Ryan Shroom, uh, Shrom back either. But that's why we did some depth moves to make this team a lot better coming into this playoffs. Um, first of all, we made the move to get a beginning Malkin onto the team, which now he will be our, our first line centerman alongside Mikhail Voinov and Cam Atkinson. Uh, of course, Brock Bublev will be staying as the second line guy alongside of Andrew Mangiapane and Zach Sanford. We know how well uh, Mangiapane did and we know how well Sanford did. We know those guys can play up on the second line alongside of Brock. Um, we also picked up Ryan Hartman, which improves our defensive uh, stats for our team. He had a really good regular season. Defensively, he didn't do too bad for the team. So I'm hoping he could continue that there with Anthony Sorelli and bring in that energy um, that Ryan Hartman brings and that physicality. So that's what we're really looking for for him to do um, in this upcoming playoffs. Defense is the same, and UC Saros will be the starting goalie for the Seattle Kraken going up against the Vegas Golden Knights, who uh, they got Petrangelo, and they got a decent amount of players here as well. Um, kind of a deep core. I mean, definitely not the deepest core. Um, it's filled with a bunch of meter orker players, I guess, but for Mark Stone, he is the elite among the elite, as Mark Stone met in that line of Cody Glass and Mars Assault. Then you have Perlini, Carlson, and Riley Smith. And Mikhailiev's there as well with Roy, Stevenson, Alvarez, Harkins, and Alex Tuck. Uh, for defense, we got Petrangelo and Theodore, Timon, Spurgeon, Coughlin, and Haig. This is something that we're going to be pretty worried about is their defensive core. It is a very uh, strong defensive core. There was Spurgeon and not just that, Timmons. Um, and then even their bottom six. It's a very physical core and we're going to be we're going to be dealing with a lot of hits. So we got to be prepared for that. And um, the great goalie, Robin Lehner, um, had a really good season this year at 914, 262. Um, I think UC Charles will just be fine enough going up against Robin Lehner. Um, but I'm done wasting time. Let's get into game one against the Vegas Golden Knights between the Seattle Kraken and the Vegas Golden Knights in Climate Pledge Arena, baby. Let's get this going. Let's go, boys. Let's bring this W home for the Seattle Kraken, all right? Let's, we, we want that back-to-back -back this year. We're, afraid, we're going up against the Vegas Gold Knights for the first time in, in franchise history in the playoffs. So let's start this thing out with a bang, all right? First period, one nothing. Jensen Harkins, the depth, gets a goal there for the Vegas Gold Knights. Uh, not looking good right now. Not, not looking too great. Second period, one to one. There we go with Guinea Milking. Gets a big one there for the Seattle Kraken. That's what I'm talking about. But we are getting outshot 26 to 16 right now, heading into the third period as the Seattle Kraken 
Look to get one. The Vegas Go Knights on a power play. We kill it off, though. Good job, boys. It seems like Vegas is just pelleting shots there on Saros, and he's making some big saves right now, but nothing from the Seattle Kraken, and Tyler Bozak on the power play, baby. That's what I'm talking about. The Seattle Kraken walk away with a 2-1 to victory against the Vegas Golden Knights in Game 1. I mean, that's what I'm talking about, man. That was the type of start that we needed. We needed to go out there and play really good against a good defensive team like the Vegas Golden Knights. We needed to step up and play good defense, and that's what we did. We really shut them down. We played really, really well. I'm impressed. Johnny Goudreau, I do not want you back just yet. We're good for one more game without you. We got one win. That saves us. If we lose this, we get you back in for a best of five, right? So that's what I kind of want to focus on right now, being a smart GM. Keeping them scratched, keeping them watching is the best way to go. Give them an extra day of rest. It's only the first round. If we want to go back to back, we got to we gotta make sure Johnny Goudreau is good. We got to make sure everyone is ready to go for this huge playoff run, all right? So come on, boys. First period, one to nothing. Hampus Lindholm with a big goal there for the Seattle crack, and that's what I'm talking about. Second period, four to nothing. We don't even need Johnny Goudreau right now. Voinov, Sorelli, Paraco, everyone is stepping up from defense to the top line to the depth. And Paraco adds a second goal on the night. Spurgeon breaks the uh, the shutout there on Saros. But my lord, we have a 5-1 lead right now. Voinov just adds to it. Voinov just adds to it a 6-1 to one lead a five goal lead for the Seattle Kraken as we whoop some major ass and we beat the ever-living hell out of the Vegas Golden Knights oh my lord this Seattle Kraken team it is something else right now man it really is let's get on to Vegas at T-Mobile Arena as uh, we're going to be heading to, to Vegas I know Johnny Goudreau that you were scratched we'll get you back in there buddy um well, Bozak played pretty well. We could take Majapani out of there now. And um, we'll do a little swap of Rooney. Get, uh, but no, actually, Johnny Goudreau might just fit better on this line. Because of the fact that Voinov... Um, just because of the fact that we can't get that good line between Melkin, Voinov, and Melkin. I want to keep Melkin and Voinov together. I want to keep that... that 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 kind of almost Russian connection together right now, and then we could get the two Americans playing alongside each other in Bubalev and uh, Goudreau. So um, yeah, Johnny Goudreau is back in lineup, which is absolutely perfect. We definitely need to edit the power play lines right quick and get him up on that top unit because um, that's I mean that's where he belongs. Johnny Goudreau up on that top unit, baby. Hell yeah! There we go, baby. All right. So let's get back into the simulation here between the Seattle Kraken and the Vegas Golden Knights. Johnny Goudreau is right back in line up now for the Seattle Kraken to making us even a more lethal offense as it just seems like we're picking apart the Vegas Golden Knights right now. So let's continue. First period, 3 to nothing. Atkinson, Hartman, and Vertanen. Oh my lord, this team is something special. Second period, 5 to nothing. Sanford, Malkin, two big goals from those guys. Wow. All I can say is wow right now. A 5 to nothing lead. We're shutting down the Vegas Golden Knights. We're making sure they don't even score a single goal right now. The only time they really dominated was in the first game, but they were only able to get one goal during that entire game as the Vegas Golden Knights are starting to get a couple goals. There are two goals there. Um, but my lord, man, we are playing like... We're playing like something else right now, man. The Sim is just, they're really giving it to us right now. A 62 victory once again. Everyone contributing. Hartman with two big goals on the night. Goudreau was just all over the place with two assists. They're setting up Sanford and um, Melkin as well, who is leading the team in points right now. Guinea Melkin as uh, Dennis Gurion is back in the lineup. Perfect. We got to send down Manjapani. There we go. And we'll get back in. Uh, Gurionov. Gurionov has that broken leg, doesn't he, right? April 23rd, he's back. Yeah, I want to wait. I want to wait on Gurionov. Because that, with that broken leg, I don't want to be rushing him right back in lineup. And if we could take this, this game tonight, we have a 3-0 lead. We could possibly take this game home. 
So let's do it, boys. Let's take this game home. Let's, let's finish it off here tonight. Come on. First period, 1-1. One one. Marshall Salt, Evgeny Malkin. All right. Evgeny Malkin opened up the goal score. And then Marshall Salt with a greaser right in front of the net. All right. Second period, 2-2. Two two. Hartman, Mikhilyev. Hartman with a dying second goal there for the, uh, the, the Seattle Kraken. Uh, perfect. I mean, let's go. Third period, baby. Come on, Seattle. We know what we can do. We can shut down. Oh, Cody Glass gets a big one there for the Vegas Golden Knights. We're trying to go for the sweep. We're trying to end things early. No. Tuck gets a big one there for the Vegas Golden Knights. A 4-2 lead here for the Vegas Golden Knights right now. This is not looking good. Oh, and Carlson adds one as well. Uh, Dustin Brown with a second left gets one there for the Seattle Kraken, but not enough. Looked like we were doing good. Hartman got that dying second goal there, and I was like, oh, maybe we could make a comeback here. Maybe we could get a big W, but nope. Uh, the Vegas Golden Knights absolute smake us in that third period, and Voinava with a broken nose now. Um, I don't even know why he's missing time. It's kind of fucking sucks. But we'll throw him up there. Um, I guess for Tannen? I guess for Tannen we'll go up there. I don't want Gurionov back in the lineup yet. That's the problem. And then Hunt can play on the fourth line. Man, injuries are fucking killing us, man. They really are. Like, you want to talk about bad luck with injuries. This is bad luck with injuries right now, boys. We're just, we keep falling right into them. No matter what we're doing, we just honestly always fall back into some injury troubles. So let's add on back to Climate Pledge Arena as we try to end things off with a 3-1 to one series lead right now. Come on, boys. First period, 2 to nothing. Johnny Goudreau, Giant Hunt. All right, that's what I'm talking about, boys. Come on. Second period. Four to nothing, Bozak, Johnny Goudreau. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's shut, sh the, let's shut it down. Come on, boys. We have a four nothing lead. Let's shut it down. Cam Atkinson. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, boys. There we go. Troy Stetcher, six nothing lead for the Seattle Kraken. As it looks like we're gonna be heading on to the second round, baby. And uh, wow, thank Lord. We beat off the Vegas Golden Knights in four games. We get the rest up. We get most of our players back in the lineup, which is absolutely perfect. And will we be facing the Vancouver Canucks in the second round? This has been a team that we're kind of intimidated about. A team that looks, yeah, and we will. We will be facing the Vancouver Canucks in the second round of playoff action. Instead of the Edmonton Oilers, we will be going up against a completely new team once again. And this time in the Vancouver Canucks. So that should be pretty exciting. Uh, we'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at everything right now. So the uh, Vancouver Canucks beat off the Edmonton Oilers. This is what the Seattle Kraken did. And look at Johnny Goudreau, man. What a playoff performer this guy is for this team. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Every time this kid steps into the playoffs, Johnny Goudreau has just been an absolute killer um, in the playoffs. Of Guinea Melkin up there with six points, Atkinson ripping it up as well. Voinov though only two goals, so um, I, I don't know. We maybe might need to see more production from our young rookie and Mikhail Voinov, who I mean, yes, he is still a uh, developing forward and might have some difficulties. I feel like next year, Mikhail Voinov will definitely explode next year, though. Defensively, John Klingberg, what a stunt. It is an absolute stud of a defenseman for the Seattle Kraken. Just what we need him to be. And then UC Saros with a 9.39 and a .80 goals against. Looking good, baby, looking good. On to the, uh, the view lines. We'll take a look at the Vancouver Canucks and what we got to go up against. And yeah, this is what I mean. This is a pretty good team. JT Miller, Elias Patterson, and Brock Best are one of the best first lines in the NHL. You got Michael Freeland, Bo Horvat, and Vitaly Ambarov, which has been ripping it up. Um, Nikushkin, uh, Adam Gaudet, and Bobby Ryan, and then Asisimov, McEwen, and Cole Lynn. The third line is doing really, really well. Well, and not just that. I mean, why is Nikushkin not that good defensively? He's one of the best defensive forwards in the league. Jesus. Defensively, wow. Excuse me. Uh, Nate Schmidt, Tyson Berry, Tyler Myers, Quinn Hughes, Ole Olevi, Damian Severson. Absolutely nuts. Uh, the lineup for the Vancouver Canucks. 
And then goaltending, you got Mark andre Fleury and Michael DiPrietro. So not too bad of a goalie tandem. Looks like they are starting Fleury more, so they're going with the vet and Mark andre Fleury. Pretty good defensive court, but I mean, definitely not the biggest defensive court. You got a lot of guys that are purely offensive, so we could definitely take advantage of that. And I think we totally could. I think we totally could take advantage of that de defense, just like what we did against the Vegas Golden Knights. But we'll have to see. This is going to be one of our tougher opponents going through this playoffs. Uh, there's the rest. You got Colorado and St. Louis. And then on the other side, you got Washington again going up against New York. Maybe they're trying to go back to the Stanley Cup Finals. And you also got the Toronto Maple Leafs versus the Tampa Bay Lightning. I'm going to end the video here, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe as in the next episode we'll be taking the Seattle Kraken on to the second round to face the Vancouver Canucks and the Elias Pedersen. So it should be a fun one. I'm going to end things here. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Adios. Amigos.